Alrighty. So now what was your guess, right? So what you have at this point, right, is we have our headings and now we want to iterate over. And this is what I'm curious, you know, if you, because at this point we know how to iterate over an object, right? We do know how to iterate over an object, but what we need to be able to be able to do is iterate over many objects. Okay. So how do we do that? We, we're going to have a for each and then inside that for each we'll have a for key and object. Okay. So we're going to end up having a nested loop, right? So let's start with my data dot for each. Okay. It's going to be a function. Each, each one of those is an object, right? And then we're going to do something with them. Okay. So remember, why am I doing this? Going back here. If I have multiple entries, which you are not going to know how many entries the user is going to give you. Okay. Now this is the kind of stuff we'll clear up later, but what I want you to see is if we have, if we have two entries, right, then there's two objects in the array. Okay. So we first have to iterate over the array and then pull out each object. Okay. And then inside of each object. Now we can iterate over the object in order to output that just to show you, right? This, that, okay. Actually, these are not rows. I'm, that's wrong. Those are tables. Those are columns. <laughs> these are rows. My bad. Sorry about that. So we could fix it, but eh, hopefully you, hopefully it makes sense. TDs are actually in this case, uh, columns within the row itself. Okay. So now let's go back over here. Let's go back to our code. All right. So now that we're here now, what do we need to do for each one of them? Right? So again, let TR equal matter of fact, we can just kind of go up here. Now I could grab this since I've already written it here. Okay. But this will create a little bit of a, well, let's just see it. And then we'll talk about why this is. Okay. Now, now that we have the row, right now, let's actually create the column. So this would be four key in OBJ, right? The object up here for the key in the object. What do we want to do? We want to now say, let TD we have that up there. No, we don't. We could though grab it. Document dot create element. So what do we want to create here? Element. We want to create a TD. And what's that TD dot text content. Now in this case, it's, you don't actually, it makes sense sometimes if you're going to do that. But in this case, we know that hex content, we're setting it equal to something. So we're going to say what? How do we do it? We go object. Do you remember? Brackets key. Okay. So we're iterating over the object itself. And inside of that, we want the key. Okay. So let's actually see it. Log. Let's do the key. Actually. Yeah. Let's just do the TD so we can see the TD itself, or we can look at the TR. Okay. Okay. So I think that'll give it just what we want. I can't wait to fix this persistence thing. We're going to fix it soon. All right. Cool. So there we go. Right. So I didn't put a breakpoint. You could for sure do that here. And what it shows you is it grabs right out of that. My data. It iterates over that object. And the first one is MPG 10. Oh, interesting. Our first heading is miles. Okay. Another point to stop and see how we fix that. Right. Give this a thought. What's happening here is our object is set up to not be aligned with our headings. Do you take a moment? See if you can come up with a solution for how to fix it. Okay. Then pause the video, 
and, and update your readme file. So go in here, right, into your readme file. I think this is the third one we've done now where you tell me what do you how do we fix that particular issue okay but let's actually just do this you can pause that now and go do that if you want or actually it'd be a good time to do it so let's go back to code now because I'll, I'll show you how to fix it in a minute okay so at this point now that we have the the, the column itself now we can do child, okay and then we can do td cool Right. Right. So now, now that we have all those, okay. Now, do we have them all? Actually, let's let's see because at this point, all we have is the tr. What do we have to do, right? Because we're going to iterate over all of them. So at the end, we'd want to do the same thing where we do, right? I think that'll work unless I haven't written that right. Let's see if that'll work. Okay, let's go here. Cool. TR is here. There we go. There we go. There we go. But why didn't. Oh, that's why. Because where would I have to put it? Right? I'd want to put it at the end. Ah, very good. This is where context matters uh, and understanding that it actually it's at the end of the loop. I'm pretty sure I'd want to put that. Let's go see. Oh, very nice. Okay, now we have the problem that I talked about before. Of course, we don't have our edit and delete buttons and we don't have these lining up correctly. Okay, so how do we fix it? Well, actually, we created the problem, and I, when I say we, I mean me, <laughs> back here, when we set up the object itself, okay? So all we have to do here is actually drag these down to here, okay? Put a comma here, right? Align these. We could just have it clean it up. Check out what this will do, because in doing that, this is the object right, that ultimately gets in the event listener, okay, returned after calling it, and that's what gets pushed in. Okay, so now we do 300, 2, 2, now we're getting closer. Miles driven, gallons used, price paid, miles per gallon, trip cost. So now all we got to do is those, at least for this part, is the edit and delete buttons, okay. But before we go, right, let's look, start looking at all this stuff happening inside of this render table, right? Is there a way we could start pulling some code out of here to actually have a function that handles the a logical piece of this? Because we're creating the table and we're creating the headings. And then we're iterating over the data to create the rows. So I want you to attempt, right? Get working code first, right? Get working code. So I'll have the instruction here. Get working code. And then see if you can at least create one more. Okay, well, actually just one more function that is breaking this function because it's getting pretty large. Okay, so I want you to do that. So it'll be two couple things in here where you do the readme file and then uh, you attempt to do this. I will show you in the next one.